Good afternoon, everyone. Um, uh, in a normal way, uh, just following our normal week routines, uh, this time with uh, three days between the games. Um, so we yeah, are trying to use the time as good as possible to to be prepared for a for a tough game and uh, an special special uh, journey next Saturday. No, we're not, we are not looking for perfect combinations. Uh, we are looking to 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 improve uh, game after game. Uh, okay, we can say that we improve uh, in front of the goal in the last game because we scored two times, and we didn't we didn't score in the recent games. Uh, we would like to continue with the same dynamic. Uh, obviously, as much as we score, more confidence the boys will get uh, for the future. Uh, last time we played up front with uh, with Salen and. Uh, and Erasmus, and let's see who is there on Saturday, and whoever is there uh, hopefully can, can do the job, and it's not all about the strikers, it's about everybody else. Uh, there's many positions that hopefully can contribute to score more goals. Uh, so yeah, happy with the, happy with the interactions that we, we, we managed to produce in, in our, our last match against Arrows, but Saturday is a, is a new chapter and, and we start again. We start talking about the interactions with the previous question. Uh, it's pretty much the same. We are just, uh, uh, we, we don't think about the names, we think about the, what we want to produce in every game. It depends on the, the structure that we are going to use. Uh, it depends on uh, how many players do we want to find in the different lines that we have on the field? Uh, depends on the, the, what the opponent is going to propose. It depends on the moment of the game inside the 90 minutes. Uh, so we try to use all the resources that we have in the squad uh, with, the, with obviously with the same objective, which is to get the good result and the good performance and uh, the players who arrive later in the, in the squad. Uh, they are they are doing their their contribution obviously with uh, some different things and uh, experience and and skills and we are so far so happy with with uh, the way that they are performing not only in the in the competition also in, in the during the trainings and yeah let's see the the type of combinations uh, the, the player that you mentioned before can can occupy uh, different positions depending on the the structures that we we're going to use uh, number eight and number ten. Obviously, are are two of those, but it's something that is changing with the time and with the games and what we see from the players, what the players offer to us. Uh, football is uh, it's a very flexible in terms of uh, ways to to approach and ways to occupy the spaces. And like I said, depending on the the. the what we want to provoke on the field, we can use different players in different roles in different positions. Like any other game, uh, like you said, the, the goal can, the away goal can be a, an important factor, an important issue in the end of the game, but we need to score. We need to score the goal. We didn't. There's no advantage for anyone so far. Once we score, there's there's one advantage for us, obviously, and with the, the double value of the goal, it can be relevant in the end of the game. But in this moment, it's nil-nil. Uh, I'm sure that both teams will start the game looking for that advantage. Uh, so it's not going to change at all the, the, the preparation or the way we approach or the players that we are going to select. Well, not, we are not spending a second thinking in, uh, in titles or finals. We have to to deal with a, with a very tough opponent on, on Saturday, a team which is used to play this type of games uh, regularly, uh, with uh, experienced players full of quality, well prepared. Uh, so we know the, 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 the size of the challenge that we're going to face on Saturday. So we are just focusing uh, on the things that we can control, which is complete a good preparation one more time. Uh, keep uh, the, the level of confidence that we, we all have in this moment. We have a previous experience uh, uh, facing uh, uh, sundowns, how long, 20, 20 something days ago. Uh, but it's going to be a different story. That, that game was, I think, uh, a quality game played for 
two good teams, like I said many times, two teams who are well prepared and the ambition to, to be in that final, to, to get one more title for the club, all of us. Um, but yeah, there's, uh, I think it's going to be similar and at some point the game with moments for both both teams to, to dominate, with moments for both teams to to put the game in, in, in our own side, but I think the, it, it's going to be about it's going to be about details in the end. Uh, well, I said already in previous interviews that Evidence is doing a good job. Unfortunately, we couldn't uh, use and know the guy better uh, during the pre-season. He, he got a, an injury early. Uh, now he's ready to, to, to compete, that's why he's, he was in the last, uh, last two games in the 20 list. Uh, and let's see when is his time. I cannot say in advance when is he going to get the, the opportunity or the minutes, or if I know, I'm not going to say. Uh, but yeah, the most important is that the boy is, is, uh, is prepared and, and, and yeah, hopefully we can see him competing soon. I think you know the answer already. I'm just focusing on what's coming. I said already before the first leg that the past is not going to play in these games. The, the, there's uh, many, many interesting things about about the game to to talk about it, the, the game that is coming, and, and not to talk about the games that are already played. <laughs> yes, I'm happy with the with the group of players. Obviously, uh, uh, the fact that. Uh, we played already 14 official matches, uh, 12, 12 games in the, in the PSL. We already use, I don't want to get wrong, but I think like 25 players, 25 different players in the Star 11. In this first part of the season, it tells a lot about, uh, first about the schedule, that sometimes we need to to, to, to rotate some positions in our, in our shape. And then about the level of the players, the quality of the players. It's a difficult job for the coach to to choose uh, and, and determine which ones are the proper ones for every game. But that's that's my role as well. Uh, so yeah, so far so happy with with all of the things that they are showing and and giving to the to the team. Not like I said many times, not only in the competition, also in in every single training. If if I could choose. You know, like, like in in a video game, if I, I would, I'd rather to have the ball all the time. But understanding that it's not possible, we try to be a competitive team, a competitive team in in every phase of the game. We know we're gonna face opponents that are gonna discuss the possession with us, and we need to be ready for that. Uh, we don't get points with the possession. We get points uh, when we score one more goal. Uh, we get the three points when we score one more goal than our opponent, and that's what we are looking for. And we need to be flexible and have the capacity to adapt ourselves to every scenario. That's what the, 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 the that's what the best teams uh, achieve uh, in, in history in every league. Uh, and nowadays in football, it's very important to have the capacity sometimes to to suffer without the ball, to have the capacity to to use spaces in transitions in some moments of the game and also, of course, have the capacity to submit the opponent and dominate the opponent with, with the ball when you want to do it and when it's profitable for you. I'm not uh, looking for a, you know, or not obsessed with the fact that we need to have every time the possession. I'm a coach who likes to have a lot of possessions, but not always the, 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 the most uh, uh, large or long, longest possession in the games. No, we 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 should go game by game and analyze what happened in in every game in the second half. We can do it if you want, but there's not there's never never one reason why in football. It's always different factors, different reasons. Uh, I can tell you. I remember games at home. Uh, where we we finish uh, playing inside the box of the opponent almost in 16 meters in 20 meters uh, looking for that goal because not not because we need not only because we need it it's because what we are trying to do every single time we can 
Other games where we get the lead in the first half and the, the opponent, uh, well, they have to take a risk and they need to attack and, and, and we become a bit more conservative uh, in some moments and uh, if we are leading to nil, obviously, you can, you can score in transitions. I mean, it's, it's the way the game sometimes, sometimes goes, but there's nothing related with the with the fitness, I think you say fitness or something like that. We still um, we are still uh, providing the same amount of efforts after 15 minutes or after 90 minutes or after 70 minutes, uh, usually in our games. But the game sometimes, uh, depending on the result or circumstances, or you're playing with one man down or one more player or etc. So I, I don't think that there's only one reason. I, I actually I think that it's. It's just uh, by chance, basically. It's uh, it's unusual, and the amount of chances that we are still creating in the second half that we couldn't uh, materialize is not frequent. Uh, but I'm not worried about that. It's something that, you know, is going to be anecdotic in the end of the season. I hope.